All right, what is up, you guys? Because always, welcome back to our Wi-Fi battle. We're just really the scavenger. It's gonna go going up against Chase, which I know a dog by from Paw Patrol. So that's a name. Uh, yeah, I'm bringing some stuff here. I mean, this is a very strong team. Um, list score is annoying for me to deal with, but besides that, I think I can do all right here. Um, kinda scared of um, Crodont. I really like for alligator. Uh, I really like that two ground side, but I can't abuse it. Besides, with Relic Camp, that is. Relic has actually looks kind of solid here. It's not perfect, mind you. It's definitely not, but it can do stuff, and it can definitely shift and annoy some of the mounts here. I don't want to take a Force Knockoff, however. Or an Aqua Jet, for that matter. Uh, or anything, for that matter. I really don't want to take anything. Um, Amipom is one of those, this is usually the lead situation. Um, we're going to lead off with Mammoth Swine. Mainly to, I can take a fake out no matter what and preserve my sash, but I can also disrupt my opponent, which is something I really want to do in case it brings in something like Crawdont. Because Crawdont, you really want to hurt badly if it leads up with it. And say, I don't think this is the worst situation I've been in. No, I don't necessarily enjoy Sacred Fire, and if it's adamant, they should be able to outspeed. But another quick looks to be quite right. Even with his floater in mind. So let's go with that. Yeah, you don't set up rocks versus a situation like that. You do invite the um, Gliscor that can't beat it. Just decide to stay and go for Sacred Fire. Gonna bring me to my sash, possibly get me burned. Did I avoid it? Yes! That's how it's done! That's how it's done! <laughs> yes. Alright, so that's, that's a scenario. Like I said, in a situation like that, you don't want to be able to set up rocks because you are in a situation that you will potentially lose. Um, so that was the right call to make, even though it sucks. Amber Palm, yeah, fake out player. Oh, look, it's shiny. So I have two options here, but I really want to bring in Relicant. Like, I have options, but I really want to bring just one thing. And also, I think I'll lose straight off the Dragon Dance in um, for Alligator. I'm pretty sure I can't do anything versus that. Oh, U turns. Yeah, I guess there was no downplay to that. I, of course, wasn't Scarf, so that's the right play to make. That was a good play. Now, Nidoking King should be able to make my day very bad. If Gliscor comes in, I'm not as worried. But Nido King, that I am. Because her power is definitely hurting me. Um, very few good switch-ins. Get a switch-in Mammoth Swan anyway. If he has a, you know, um, not a Stealth Rock set, I guess this is fine. But then, I think this is a scenario where I would just say he got me. Oh! And he got me good too. Um... I, of course, have to go for an Ice Shard. I really just want to trace the Shear Force. I am i can't state enough how much I want that. Unless he missed Jen like me and bring a Poison Point Nido King. Very undermining, mind you. Here we go. Root Power. Takes me out. Nothing to it. And now I get Shear Force. I got Spam Psychic. I don't care if he has a switch in. Because I don't remember the team besides Glisco, Ambipom, Nido King, Relegator. Yeah, I'm fine. I remember more than enough. My turn. Gonna motherfucking die not being Scarf Mad Lad. <laughs> the thing is, like, yeah, like, what would you switch into this? This is, of course, a awful situation. I think if Evercom comes in, I'm gonna try to stomach a fake out. I kinda need to try to stomach it. I'm pretty sure he didn't think of that scenario. And I'm pretty sure I didn't think about this. Who is the dumb bitch now, if not me? Um. Yeah, what I do versus this, anyway. He has to go for an off yet. No, he doesn't have to. He can go straight off for a knockoff. And take out something. It's not like Cascade is going to do me any favors. Even though um, I got... Like, I can't deal with... Um, 
the freaking um, <laughs> the Glisco. Let's see. Walk with it. Don't think you had to go for it. Early Jones. Critical hit. I like that it was that, but it's still not gonna help. Question is whether he's banded. I gotta assume he is. They usually are. So, sending an Arcane, I can definitely stomach one hit here, and I think a head smash will even hurt Glisco. He is thinking. I just want to confirm that he's not banded. Or if he is banded, I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure I can take that hit. Goes for it. I think that's fine. Damn, these crits, right? And Crodon is out. I think. Yes. Out. <laughs> so, okay. So, that also means that um, my Relic can't, can't really can't do so much right now. I still, it still dies to an earthquake anyway from Glisco. So it's not like I'm in the best of scenarios. I can always healing wish up, I guess. But with the remaining mods, that's something I want to do. Huh. I lose the matchup with this guy anyway. He's gonna straight up Quake, I'm sure of it. Yep, I gotta do it. Worst sack ever. And we're gonna see Toxic Orb, nothing to it. Right, I gotta hope out speed here. We do have Ice Beam. It's not gonna kill him. It's just gonna hurt him really badly. And I kind of need him to be there. And he's just thinking, you know, I can take a knockoff. There's no problem here. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Piece of shit, it is. <laughs> Please, you turn on on me. I beg of you. <laughs> Get baited, son. Get fucking baited! <laughs> oh, if only I were invested. <laughs> so right, that means that at least Oh right, yeah, I have a palm. I knew that. And I am a fake at range, that's for sure. He should be worried about um, Sucker Punch. Sitting in Feed Max. Um, this might be a bad play, but I have to assume he has fake out. Yeah. Easy boy, easy. I can't take those for day, buddy. Not really. Gonna U turn on this. I assume he's gonna U turn himself. He could stay in, but he can't do too much to me, since he's played. Or fake out U-turn, probably like double hit stuff like that. Yeah, I actually did a lot. Nice. Not too worried, or it sucks, but I'm not too worried yet. And. Let's see, I think Psychic is stronger than Moonblast. I wish I could use Technician to my benefit. But let's see. 95, oh yeah, there is. No debate. Rad withdraw, I get that. I really do. Kill the Glisco. And since I'm Scarfed, I'm not... Like, one Dragon Dance for Alligator should not... screw things over. But I'm pretty sure one Waterfall could do a very lot to me. 
But if your Dragon Dance is up and doesn't have Awkward yet, then I think I'm fine. Yeah, I clearly need to keep attacking anyway. Uh, how much do one Moonblast do? Yeah, it's a 2-hit kill. Nice. Here comes the Waterfall. It does. Absolutely ruins me. Ooh, that's not great. Now, if I had Sucker Punch, that would be no problem. Let's see if I can scare him with that, though. Please. Please fall for it. I still think I lose anyway. This Raliator might actually do enough. He does switch out! He does switch out, which is awesome. It will mean nothing in the end game, but he does switch out, which I can definitely get behind. Here we go! I never had it! I never had it! But yeah, like... Waterfall did so much to... Ah, yeah. Now, if I nabbed it Chair Force, maybe... Maybe, but probably not. Because my best play here versus it will be you turning afterwards, and I just... No, we do outspeed! Wait! He was adamant! He was fucking adamant! No wonder! Absol! What a... What a absolute game! Wow! Finally! Chase! Get fucked! <laughs> no, not really. Well done, man. G fucking G. And as far as I said, I won the game! Hey! <laughs> so anyway, guys, as always, hope you enjoyed this game. And I'll, well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care and one right.